In February of 1760, Fort Dobbs along the western frontier of North Carolina is attacked by up to 70 Cherokee warriors. Writing to North Carolina Governor Arthur Dobbs, the fort's commander, Hugh Waddell, states, We received the Indians' fire. When I perceived that they had almost all fired, I ordered my party to fire, which we did not further than 12 steps, each loaded with a bullet and seven buckshot. Waddell adds, the Indians were soon repulsed with, I am sure, a considerable loss. Today we're going to test out the buck and ball cartridge that Waddell's North Carolina Provincials were, were using to see just what kind of effect it may have had on their attackers. The cartridges we'll be using today have 120 grains of 2F black powder, a 69 caliber round ball, and seven 30 caliber buckshot. The musket we'll be using for today's test is a British longland pattern, which is very similar to the Dutch muskets that the North Carolina Provincial Troops were likely armed with. Okay, I've got the musket loaded. Let's take a shot down range. We've backed off 12 steps from our target and see what it'll do. Okay, let's take a look at the target and see what it did. I was aiming right here at center mass. You can see the round ball was just right below that. And six, six of the seven buckshot are on the paper, and the seventh is right down here below. So you can see 10 muskets firing a buck and ball charge like this at a distance of 12 steps would be very deadly. <laughs> 